Project Driveway. Um, I have the pleasure of being here to really put it in uh, context. Why are we doing Project Driveway uh, as part of General Motors Advanced Technology? And fuel cells are a very important piece of our advanced technology program. And Project Driveway allows us to get customer feedback. And so that's why it's really important that we understand what the vehicle means to the customer. We want to make sure that the more than 100 vehicles we have on the road, the people give us feedback on what it's like to drive the vehicle, so typical of other products, how they feel about the functionality and the quality of the vehicle, as well as hydrogen and what it means to use hydrogen as a fuel for transportation. So we want to get feedback on their insights on what does it mean when you go to a hydrogen station, how accessible does hydrogen have to be, and really learn the infrastructure issues in addition to the vehicle pieces. We're always looking at how to improve the technology, so it will be the fifth generation fuel cell and then we'll also be working with partners such as Shell Hydrogen to understand what the hydrogen refueling station should look like uh, for the future infrastructure development. So we'll continue to work on the vehicle side, work on the fuel side, and really have the customer who is key to the success of these programs actively involved with the development of the vehicles. Whatever we do with propulsion for vehicles, be they fuel cell, small internal combustion engines, six-speed diesels, it'll all be part of our global manufacturing footprint where we've tried to make sure we uh, have a, a manufacturing competitive footprint that's flexible, agile, can be reconfigured, can react to market demands, uh, share from region to region. So it, it, it'll eventually become part of our network, which we think is a competitive strength for us globally. Well, I think we're showing that it is, it is a technology and a application that is real world. It is a vehicle that you can get in, you can drive, um, very much real world, very very much today with regard to the interfaces with the driver and what's the driver seeing. Okay, uh, but underneath all that there's a whole lot of technology and development going on that is part of um, an energy diversity activity with, with, with General Motors to displace petroleum and offer other choices. There's a lot of challenges, you know, for the vehicle to be use widespread applications. Obviously the infrastructure for fueling and supplying hydrogen is a big activity. Um, from the development side, again, there's, there's a lot of science and chemistry going on with regard to membranes, um, air and hydrogen injection, and, uh, fuel storage, uh, how that all interacts in the systems of a vehicle. There's just lots and lots of things that uh, are different uh, in an effort to make a lot of things very similar to the customer. It first started, um, I guess, I just got sick of every time that there was a hiccup in the Middle East and I'd be paying three dollars or more in gasoline for my car. And I finally, you know, started looking on the web and saying, well, what are the car companies doing about this? Um, and then I saw that uh, on the Chevy website that they're actually looking for, uh, you know, uh, zip codes to see which people are, uh, you know, uh, hopefully eligible for this program. Basically, I drive my car 99% of the time is just to and from my office. So it's about a 13 and a half miles each way. So you're talking about under, you know, under 40 miles on, you know, really under 30 miles generally in any given day, um, which I thought again would be perfect because it wasn't like I was going to run out of, you know, uh, of fuel anytime soon, and it'll be perfect because that's why you know I drive around the area. So I intend to drive it all around the metropolitan area. I, for instance, I got plenty of work that takes me in, either into the city, all well within the driving range of the vehicle. As you're accelerating, you kind of mentally expect the, the, the feeling of the shifting of gears. And there's nothing, nothing like that. It's just a smooth acceleration as you're as you're accelerating. Uh, but other than that, the car drives like a regular car, and so uh, there's no, no there's no special learning involved. There's no special techniques or anything like that. You just drive it, and uh, the way you would do anything else. It's it it really is just a regular car, and and if it weren't for the fact that it that there's no smells of exhaust, you're going to drive it the way you do a regular car. It doesn't feel any different. I guess if you're thirsty, you could attach a cup to the back of the car, and so at the end of your drive, you could drink it. But, uh, but other than that, you know, <laughs> there's no difference in, uh, in, in driving.